going to start out talking about the fight, but you went to go grab that jacket right before the scrum started. So what, what's the story behind the jacket? Why did you need to put it on? I'm the moonwalker. You know, I, I like to fight. I love Michael Jackson. And this is just to top it off. And they wouldn't let you wear it inside the octagon for no. this fight? Apparently in Colorado, the commission doesn't allow the thriller jacket inside, but sure dog does, so we're good. <laughs> Maybe you can get a Reebok logo on that in the future. Hey, my, my lines are open. Call Ed. Let's make a deal. Conor McGregor's in Ireland. I can cross over into Asia. No problem. Well, let's talk about the fight a little bit. Uh, your debut, you had a short notice defeat that was really close against Joe Ellenberger. This fight showed a sense of urgency right off the bat. Was that part of your mindset going in? You know, I think it's just uh, the experience for my first fight. I as well took it on a short notice like right. Cody did. And it's just the experience. I learned how to control my emotions. And I knew, uh, striking-wise, not many guys want to stand with me. So I'm always, I always know that they're going to shoot for the takedown first. And uh, I do like to do jiu-jitsu, as you can tell, but of course I prefer to strike. You had a sense of excellent timing on those jump knees. How were you able to be so successful with those throughout the fight? I think, once again, I think it's just the experience. I was fortunate enough to work with Anderson Silva this whole entire camp as he was preparing for Nick Diaz. So getting my butt kicked by him every single day, coming inside of here, it was, uh, I was just happy to be back. It's been so long, so it's an honor you know, to really do what you love. And for me to be inside the octagon again, I was just happy. On the, on the downside, you were unable to make weight. What, what kind of difficulties did you encounter through that process? It was difficult. I was battling a cold the whole entire time. So come the tail end of the weight cut, it's just my, my whole body shut down on me. So it's a learning experience. I took the penalty. And you know, as a professional, I should never let that happen. So I'm going to learn from it and uh, make sure it never happens again. And you mentioned that you spent a lot of time working with Anderson Silva. Uh, with the recent news that you know he failed the, the drug test following USC 183, what was your reaction to that with him being such a big part of your training camp? You know, for me, my job with him was just to train. Um, that's all I did from him. I helped him as much as I could, and he taught me a lot. Whatever he did on his own personal side is his business, so I'm not going to speak for him. Um, to me, he's still my hero. He's still a role model, but whatever he did, on his own time is, is his decision. Not what I do and say doesn't mean anything.